Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We're in Jacob's town again, but we just fixed Rex's brain uh, by giving him a new one. Um, a peculiar process, but he seems to recognize me still, so I, I'm, I'm assuming that Evening. it's still Rex and not, you know, Ray in a Rex suit. It's... I don't really understand, to be honest with you, but... Okay, anyway, uh, I just wanted before I go... Is there something else I can do for you? I wanted to ask you, how goes your research on the Night King Cure? Promising, but I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Yeah, King's not going to be very happy to hear that. Yes, yes. I was able to defuse that particular bomb once, but I'm not going to be around the next time he goes berserk, mate. You should, uh, step on it if I were you. Alright, speak of the devil. Okay. Alright, there you go. That's our work here. Oh my god. Yeah, it clearly took us a while to drive here, didn't it? Yeah, it took about, like, nearly seven hours to drive here. Which, uh, like, well, like I told you, long drive. Uh, should we go and say hello to Marcus? I doubt he's got anything interesting to say to us at this point, but uh, I don't know he's just, it's Marcus from Fallout 2. My God, just like talking to him, all right? I like how you handled Keen. Without the Nightkin around, Jacobstown would be much weaker than it is. Good for you. See you. Right. Okay. So. That didn't make any sense. I said good for you, and that did not make any sense in the context, given... Never mind. <laughs> Slowly revealing that I don't always listen to people when I'm talking to them. Um, okay, so we're at West Side, I suppose. Uh, can I even get to West Side with the truck? West Side Pawn Shop, there we go. And let's go find Mr. Uh, what's his face? Self-proclaimed sheriff of Westside or whatever. That's Dallas Court, right? That was it. Yeah, Dallas. Think, think Texas, Dallas. All right. I'm assuming these chairs are bolted to the floor or something, because otherwise, you know. <laughs> Can you imagine just sort of rolling around in these office chairs as we're trying to drive the... <laughs> anyway. Guys! Get out of the way! And Rex, get off the sink! Ugh. And... I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. That's horrifying. That's absolutely horrifying. I should probably, you know... We should bring you back to Freeside, Rex, and say hello to the king and tell him that I've fixed you, actually, come to think of it. He'd probably want to know, right? I keep forgetting that you're, he's, he, you, you, <laughs> you're technically his dog and not mine. Um, right, welcome to wonderful West Side. Such as it is. I'm just going to go find Dallas Core right wherever he is. And you two seem to be stuck behind there. Okay, very good. I keep hearing about some courier making a fuss over at the strip. Must have delivered more than just mail. Indeed. Sticking around for the attractions? Yeah. Oh, I'm losing track, to, track of who I've talked to these days, good grief. Fuck that fiend bastard. Wish I would have seen him die. Which one? Have you seen that tower I've killed a lot. Lit up. You can see it from my Gal's pawn shop. See, now I'm going to be looking everywhere for a stay or AUG scope. Uh, I'm looking for an ancient, an antique rangefinder someone might have sold. What? Helios, what? Oh, I remember this. Antique rangefinder. Trying to think of something that'd be more worthless. Maybe an antique horoscope or an antique sandwich. I'll tell you something. Good luck finding that thing. But if you do find it, 
Don't waste your time trying to sell it to me. Okay. Um, you been in Westside long? My grandfather opened up this shop. Took over from him when the fiends killed him. I see. Of course. What do you got? Anything good? Anything? Ooh, lots of C4 plastic explosive for some reason. Budget discussions. A radio that needs to be turned off. Proper right quick. Detonate. Hang on a minute. I've got a detonator, right? Well, you know, somewhere. Not on me right now, but pretty sure I've got a detonator somewhere. It's worth buying some C4. I can think of a million ways to use it, but... Yeah, I'll just take all of that off your hands. <laughs> no, no, it might be useful. And a spare detonator. Why not? Um, note to scribe Taggart. What on earth? Why do you have a note to scribe Taggart? Repcon Hoverbot. No, my goodness. You know what? You guys, you traders really have some crazy stuff lying around, don't you? I should really check in with you guys more often. Rugged Wanderer gear. Robot spare parts. Scavenger gas mask. Rad resistance plus 30 versus my current gas mask. Plus 20. Uh -huh. Where, where is it done? I might sell it back to you in a minute if it looks silly or something, so hold on. <laughs> uh, Robco Neural Command. Yeah, there is all sorts of crap in here. Crucially, no weapon mods, though, so oh well. God, I just gave you 5,000 caps. I can't believe it. Oh, my word. That is some seriously military grade shit. That, that is right there. I kind of like the other one because I can wear it with my hat. But then again, well, I've got three gas masks now, haven't I? I've got one that doesn't work as a gas mask. Somewhere. I think it's a home. And I've got this one, which I can wear with a hat. <laughs> Those fiend junkies over it's a bit Volvo weird, but it technically it works. I say kill them all. I got this. Tell you what, I won't sell it back because I might, I might actually give it to a companion if we ever end up somewhere stupidly radioactive again. I could use it myself, but uh, yeah. How much does it weigh? Uh, well, I'll hang on to it for now, but yeah. All right. Anyway, remember Chola Mountain. That's all I'll say. Because I ain't ever, ever, I, I'm not ever going to forget it. <laughs> oh. I forget a lot of stuff, you may have noticed, but I'm never going to forget that. So, Mr. De... Hello. Now, if... Yeah, you, you're a very Dallas quarter looking kind of a fella, aren't you? Bingo. What can I do for you, citizen? You can stop talking in that ridiculous voice. Uh, get out of here! I'll break your, I'll break your collarbone. Um, you've done a great job here, Sheriff, but your services are needed elsewhere. Why? Thank you. You know I have made quite a difference here. There's plenty of other towns that need regulating. You couldn't regulate a paper bag, quite clearly. I don't know what they're all so freaking worried about. Whatever. Job done. Prim as a new sheriff. That should keep the powder games away. Now, okay. I'm going to quick save the game here. Because sometimes with the, the... I can't remember the way this one goes exactly. But sometimes with some guy's quests... 
Actually, no, we should be fine. We should be fine. Uh, sometimes with some guys' quests, he, he likes to ambush you as soon as you leave an area. As you have seen, no doubt, so far. And I thought maybe leaving via the truck uh, might horribly break things. But then I realized you can actually just fast travel out of West Side, so it wouldn't matter. So, uh, yeah. All right, well, fuck it. Back to, um... Back to... Uh, you know what? Should we just, like, rest here tonight? You know, pull the bunk out and just... Oh my god, f guys, come on, seriously. This is just... Weird! I have another light switch here. There we go, now you don't all look horrible. Rex is... somewhere. Um... Yeah, okay, right, anyway. <laughs> He's definitely somewhere I can hear him barking, but... <laughs> yeah, I think we'll stay here for the night, because uh, it's already... 7.52pm, and yeah... I think we'll drive up to... Um, back to Prim in the morning. You know what, actually? Let's just have a little poke around West Side, why not? Since we're here, and since we've got nothing better to do, because we're just going to stop here for the night anyway. Let's actually have a little look around. There might be something interesting, you never know. Marco. Welcome to Casa Madrid. Cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poon, talk to the whores. Maybe another time. Is this apartment building yours? Yep, for years now. Guess I should be calling it Casa Marco or something. But I haven't changed the signs. <laughs> Folks who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay too. And when pretty Sarah set her whores up here, the casa went full service. I see. Uh, bye. Catch you later then. Yeah, we'll be staying in our truck, thank you very much. Um. What a dump, oh my goodness. We've had 200 years to clean up and yet just nothing. Why are you talking to me, man? I'm trying to relax here. Got it? What do you do around here? Me and Dermot work salvage around New Vegas. Tell me about Dermot, your partner. What do you even mean? He's Dermot. Dermot knows how to work salvage better than any man I ever met. Doesn't go asking questions all day, neither. Bye. Fuck it off. Fuck you, too. Someone. I got nothing you need. If it's ass you're looking for, talk to pretty Sarah. What do you do around here? Me and my partner St. James work salvage around West Side. That's all. Why is he called St. James? Because it's his name. He may be high strong, but he's all right. Hauls his half a scrap, which is all I need. Oh, well, goodbye. Yeah, beat it. Oh, you're such lovely fucking people. Oh, maybe they heard me calling their home a dump, so maybe there's. <laughs> maybe that's fair enough, I guess. West Side Co op. Get some more lights in here. Hi there. Welcome to the West Side Co-op. I'm Clayton Etienne. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, tell me about the co-op. I'm really bored today, apparently. It might not look like much, but it's what keeps us West Side locals independent. We started it a few years ago. I admit we had a lot of trouble at first, but eventually we got some help from Tom Anderson with the followers. We're finally to the point where the co-op members can start making money from sales instead of just breaking even. What's your story? Well, I've lived in Nevada all my life. Started out in New Reno, but headed down here as soon as I got the chance. If you can believe it, things are even worse back home. The whole city's still run by crime families. It used to be the Mordinos and Wrights. Now it's the Wrights and Van Graffs. It seems like things never got better. Anyway, that's all behind me now. Oh, do you have for sale? All right. Uh, we've got plenty of food with us right now, yeah? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> got 17 freaking slabs of big ornament meat that I've forgotten to do anything with. You need a lot of survival skill to cook those, don't you? Um, probably should have left them in the fridge at home. Never mind, I forgot I had them. Whatever. Could just sell them all. Yeah, why not? Um, what do we got? Atomic cocktail, banana yucca fruit, cactus fruit. 
Breakfast, crunchy mountain fruit, canteens of purified water, fresh potatoes, a shed load of geckos. That yeah, we're fine. We're fine. You can have that meat. And, Another satisfied uh, customer. Yeah. See you later. Toodles. To be sure. To be sure. Um, and let me just. Thank you. That fucking song. Although I think you know what Johnny Guitar might actually be one of the. F I mean, that, that's that's a twist of cruel irony. But yeah, Johnny Guitar, I don't think is one of those songs that actually gets content ID matched. <laughs> I'm still turning it off on principle. Oh. Hello. That tower on the strip, the one you can see for miles. I hear it ain't sealed up no more. Nope, not so much. Right side, Malaysia. How are you doing? Hey there. Do, 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 do. What the? Uh, I'm no expert on how ancient traffic lights used to work, but... What is it doing here? Oh, the pre-world world worked in mysterious ways, didn't it? Oh, we shall never know the mysteries of the traffic lights and their strange placements. Um, the same robots on the strip. Guys yeah, 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 robots on the downtown. strip. You guys all talk about the same old crap, really. Just nothing happened around here. All this. Oh, these would be the Electro City engineers so setting up shop here, probably. Water Brahmins. You gotta love that. The strip and everything in the background with the light pollution and everything. That still looks good. It does. It still looks good. Shame I can't jump up and get a slightly better vantage point. Or maybe I can. No, it's gonna be difficult about it. Come on. No. Alright, never mind. This game's freaking old by this point, isn't it, really? But, yeah, still looks good. <laughs> Nothing in the back of there. Don't know what I was expecting there to be. More farms and things. It's clearly evident how you guys actually survive out here, I suppose, isn't it? You all... You, you farm crops. And, uh... And you eat those. I like it when the world makes sense. Traffic lights notwithstanding. North Cistern. Do I have any reason to go in there whatsoever? No is the answer. I do not. You know what? It looks like a bit of a dump, but it's not too bad, honestly. Like, compared to Freeside, where you get mugged every 20 seconds, uh, you could do worse. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. My finger slipped. Um... Yeah. I'm a little bit lost, actually, if anything, right now. You've got to make your way around here in the dark. Oh, liquor, hello. I'm glad mean son of a bitch. Klamath Bob's Liquor Store. Just for you, Cass. Why not? I've got to clear all those bottles of wine at Bison Ste- Ah, oh, goddammit. Next time we're in Prim, remind me to go grab the booze from the basement. Klamath Bob. Howdy. Name's Bob, but folks around here call me Klamath Bob. What can I do you for? I uh, take it you're from Klamath. <laughs> yeah, good old Klamath. Not a bad place if you like hunting, eating, and skinning geckos all day. <laughs> it's a pretty dull place, but I hear there was a bit of excitement when this tribal from Arroyo came to town years back. All before my time, though. Yeah, that's a slightly on-the-nose reference to Fallout 2. <laughs> when I say slightly on-the-nose, I mean, what the hell? That came out of nowhere. Um... Mm, I have questions about the, this area. I might have some answers for you. What did you want to know? What do you do around here? I run the liquor store on West Side. With things this rough, some folks need a lot of booze just to step out of the door in the morning. After I close up shop, I walk around and help keep the peace. Not that I'm good with a gun, mind you, but someone's got to do it, you know? 
Can you tell me about Westside? Well, things aren't great here, but I've seen a lot worse. We've got the fiends to the south of us, and that ain't good. The Scorpions hang out at the Monte Carlo when they aren't slinging chems or getting their heads blown off by the fiends. Probably the best thing we've got going on is the co-op, run by Mr. Etienne. Get some help from the followers of the Apocalypse, I think. Uh, the Monte Carlo, that's... Yeah, it's just around the corner, isn't it? I think I... I think I found the place and decided not to go in. Because I had other shit to do. Um, do you have a lot of run-ins with the fiends? Not so much lately. The NCR is giving them hell any time they poke their damn heads out. Bless those boys and gals for getting rid of that vermin. I feel pity for any man or woman that gets addicted to chems. But when they prey on decent folk, well, then it's time to put them down. Hmm. What's so great about the co-op? Food from the people and for the people. Anyone can buy, but the profits are shared by the folks who make the produce. Locals got these little gardens that do real well. Gosh darn well, truth be told. Etienne got some help from that Anderson kid, I think. Anyway, we don't gotta rely on merchants so much. And it means the troopers can use all the food they make over on the east side. Works out nice. You gosh darn commie bastard. <laughs> uh, yeah, tell me about the scorpions. Not much to tell. Typical gang of dumb bullies and angry nobodies. They're holed up a bit south of here, in the Monte Carlo Suites. They think they're tough, but any time they tangle with the fiends, they get torn right up. Should I go deal with them? Should I? Do I want to? Is the question. I want to go out of my way to kill a bunch of random people I've never met before. And not even get paid for it. The answer is kind of yes. And I feel like I'm a horrible person for admitting that. Oh god. Uh, enough about West Side. What else did you want to chat about? Uh, do you know anything about that super mutant walking around? I mean, the other super mutant that's normally here walking around town as a You know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's mean son of a bitch. I know the name sounds bad, but he likes it. He's one nasty old coot. Far as I can tell, he's one of them original super mutants. What came from the Boneyard. Wandered about after that master fellow died. Eventually got caught somewhere around the hub back in NCR. Boy, they sure treated him mean down there. Cut him up so bad he can't talk no more. I tried to buy him just so they'd stop hurting him. But they didn't want any of it. Dickheads. How'd he get away? Turns out some of them night kids, whatever you call those sneaky super mutant types, got in and busted him out. <laughs> I guess somebody named Tabitha led the bunch that freed him. Don't know much more than that. Tabitha. Hmm. Uh, how did he end up here in the, on, on the west side? He just showed up here one day. Couldn't really talk, but he remembered me all right. Ever since then, he's just been, well, hanging around, I guess. Does odd jobs for folks and smashes the bad guys when they come poking around. People around here aren't afraid of him, then. Some folks steer clear of him, for sure, but you don't seem to mind. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't actually don't need to go and kill all the scorpions at all, do I? I mean, I forgot they have mean son of a bitch hanging around. Um... Yeah, I... Is it a good thing that I just talked myself out of doing that, or not? I don't know anymore. Um... Don't have any more questions. Sure. Alright then. Hopefully I've got something to wet your whistle. Uh, what do we got? Beer, scotch, vodka, whiskey, wine... Some playing cards. Um, yeah, random, usual kind of useless stuff. I haven't played Caravan in ages. Oh my word! I yeah, wow, yeah. I've not played Caravan in forever. Maybe I should one of these days. No, I don't. I don't sit back and and relax often enough, do I? I'm always running around, well, driving around. You know, do, doing this thing and that thing and. Never get a chance to sit back and chill, do we? Uh, got a bottle of that for for Cass. Okay then. Tura, uh, Cass. Whoa, I have a new Coca-Cola victory glowing away down there. 
Let's distribute the weight. Do, 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 do. Where, what does whiskey fall under? Food? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> That'd be alcohol, wouldn't it? Alk. There we go. There you go. Enjoy. Well, I think that's about it as far as all the tourist attractions go, isn't it, really? Yeah, I think so. Hello, mean son of a bitch. Oh, hi again. <laughs> oh, you're dying. Bye. Goodbye. Uh, I would have the headlamps on. We really shouldn't do that. We'll run down the battery if we keep that up. Although, as soon as one of you finds the switch to turn off the headlights, then, uh, you know, let me know. Whoa. Oh, the, oh, thank God. I thought the, the click spot for the door had gone walkies. Uh, we would have been a lot, in rather a lot of trouble if that were the case. And Oh my goodness me! Right. I'm going to get some rest. You lot can do whatever, as long as it's not levitating on my sink. Alright, clearly I'm not going to win this argument. <laughs>